All right, in this video, I'm going to answer some questions I've had about the 9mm bolt for an AR-15. I have a previous video where I kind of talk about how the bolt works and what's different with this versus a standard AR-15 bolt and carrier system. And I've had a couple people basically saying that they were expecting more of a takedown and disassembly of the bolt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you basically how to take apart this bolt. I'm not going to take it all the way apart, but I'm going to show you kind of the main two things that you would likely want to take apart, which is the firing pin and the extractor. Now the um, other parts that you could potentially take apart is there's a roll pin here to take the weight out from the buffer. There's an additional weight in here for the nine millimeter. And I'm gonna leave that in, partly because I don't have a roll pin punch the appropriate size. And two, there's really not much of a need to take that out unless you want to switch weights. The other thing I'm going to leave in this video is the carrier key because that is actually staked in on this one and I don't want to undo that at this point. But the main two things that people have kind of asked about is the firing pin, which we are going to go ahead and remove, and then the extractor. The extractor, you can see the hole right here. So that's one side of where the punch is, or I'm sorry, the roll pin. And then a little bit harder to see in the video, but there's another hole right here. This is the other hole. So that goes in between these two. Again, it's kind of hard to see in this video. You might be able to just barely make it out, but the actual roll pin that's in there is closest to this lower side. So we're gonna knock it through from the top through the bottom. Um, I am using, you'll see, because this is just kind of a quick impromptu video, I just wanted to find something that I could knock the roll pin out through, and I'm just using a, a reloading block, and I'm just going to make sure that it knocks out into one of those holes. That way nothing, uh, nothing interferes and it just drops free. I have a roll pin holder and a roll pin punch. I'm just using a size 4 from Brownells, that is the closest one that I have uh, for this roll pin size, and then just a small hammer, small hammer that I keep with my AR-15 tools. So first thing to remove the firing pin, just like pretty much any other AR-15, we're going to remove this cotter pin, and then you can see slightly different than your typical AR-15. 223 firing pin. This one does actually have a spring in it, so it actually just popped loose. But that is your 9mm firing pin. So we'll set those aside. So we're going to remove the roll pin going from top to bottom. I'm going to line up the hole with one of these cartridge holes, and then I'm just going to gently tap it out. Sure, my holes lined up. Okay, so that's out. Roll pin just fell into one of the cartridge holes. And then this is kind of harder to get on video, but I'm just going to grab the edge of that extractor with my thumbnail and pull it right out. So with this model, I believe this one is a CMMG 9mm bolt. There is no spring or anything else retaining that in there. It's actually just the spring tension from the metal is what actually gives you your tension in the extractor. But that is it. That's all there is to taking out the extractor in these 9mm bolts. So now, to put it back in, I'm basically just going to do the reverse. When it goes back in, I do want to make sure that the notch here is lined up with the hole in the carrier for the roll pin. So I'm going to go ahead and line those back up and make sure that everything is ready to reinstall. Alright, so I went ahead and placed it on the, the table just to give a little more a little more of a solid position. Alright, so that's reinstalled. You can see the pin back in there. Um, to put the firing pin back in, very similar to a 
standard AR-15. The only thing to make sure is that your spring is still on there. So go ahead and reinstall that. And then you're going to need to put a little pressure on it to make sure that it's in the right spot. So I'm just pushing with my finger there and then get that cotter pin back in and it's back together. Um, one thing to remember is roll pins are really not designed to be reused multiple times. So if you are regularly wanting to clean the extractor, uh, which I don't think is really necessary to clean as often as you're cleaning the gun, maybe every couple thousand rounds or a couple times a year, depending on how much you're shooting. Um, but in general, I wouldn't be pulling that out just every time you get home from the range and want to clean the gun. Uh, one thing is if you are pulling that out, you're going to want to be able to replace it every one to two times you pull it out. Um, for an example, I pulled this out just to kind of familiarize myself with it, make sure I knew what parts were in there and to confirm everything before the video. Basically a dry run. Um, and I can already feel putting it back in the second time that it does not feel as tight. Um, so far, I, I'm not worried about it falling out. It's not that loose, but, but I would make sure that you are replacing that roll pin if you are pulling it out more than once or twice. So hopefully that answers some of the questions for the guys that were wanting to remove the extractor from their 9mm AR-15 bolts. Uh, if there's any questions or any other issues with that, let me know and I'll see if I can answer. Thanks.